This is the book of Job, chapter 20 and verse 4. It says, Knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment? Though his excellency mount up to the heavens, and his head reach unto the clouds, yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, Where is he? He shall fly away as a dream, and shall not be found. Yea, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. The eye also which saw him shall see him no more. Neither shall his place any more behold him. His children shall seek to please the poor, and his hands shall restore their goods. His bones are full of the sin of his youth, which shall lie down with him in the dust. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praise, all honor, and all infinite glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakudash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders, Great Millstone, who taught us his truth through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, and who do rule well, as well as peace, blessings, and many salutations to the sincere Akim pushing this word in truth and in sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth that are given our diligence to ensure their calling of election. All right, to the sincere Aquatium, the few sisters who do tune in are listening, learning, and applying the scriptures into their lives in their respective role as a woman. All right, to the sincere believers in general, men, women, and children, to you, I say Shalom, okay? And ultimately, this lesson going to be going into the, uh, the debt, okay? The substantial debt, okay, that Esau, Edom, the self-proclaimed white people, the so-called Caucasians, okay, that race and that nation of people, the debt that they have to pay, man. Okay, thus saith the Holy Bible. And when you go into that word debt, it says something that is owed or dued. So like you, something that is owed or due. All right. And we're coming into these times right now where we know we're at the end. Okay. We know it's about to get uh, uh, real out here, so to speak. Okay. But with that also being said, you know. We know we're approaching that due date, okay? Because when you think of a debt, okay, many of us in the world, okay, have been in, in, in some some form of uh, or shape of debt, okay? You might be behind on payments. You might have just let some go, just like, you know, fuck it, so to speak, right? And, and with Esau, man, you know, it's, it's past that point of there being any opportunity to, you know, uh, uh, get rid of that debt, man. Okay, there being any opportunity to, uh, you know, the, the collection agencies calling, okay, trying to work out a payment plan. It's past that, man. Okay, and as we go further and further into the end, okay, that due date is approaching where you have to pay off your debt, okay. And the scripture talks about an eye for an eye, an ear for an ear, a tooth for a tooth, okay? As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee, man, okay? And like we read in Job 20 and 5, man, it says the triumphing of the wicked is short. So you've had your time period, okay, going back into the blessing that was given unto Esau, okay, your, your progenitor, the progenitor of the so-called white Caucasian race, okay? Uh, uh, our forefather Isaac gave you the blessing, okay, because you were weeping and crying. Oh, it has that but one blessing for me, father? You know? The fatness of the earth, the dew of the heaven, okay? And by thy sword, thou shalt live, man. And they have, man, but, you know, it says in, in, the, in the last verse we read, verse 11, okay, it says, his bones are full of the sin of his youth, Right? It says, which shall lie down with him in the dust, man. Okay? Because you, you're still that same serpent from the garden, man. You're still that same, okay? Uh, 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 you're still Cain, man. You're still coming that same spirit of Cain. Okay? And like it said in Genesis 27, uh, the morning uh, uh, for my father, the, the days of mourning for my father are at, are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob, man. Okay? But 
at the end of the day, you're going to sit down in the dust, man. You're going to be brought down to nothing just as that serpent was brought down to nothing, okay? Um, so I wanted to grab this afterwards. This is uh, Isaiah 47, and uh, we can start from the top. It says, come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon, okay? And we know about uh, 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 the, the Babylon of Nimrod, okay, the first Babylon, and then we know about the... Uh, the Neo Babylonian Empire, right, with uh with uh, Nebuchadnezzar. Okay. So who is the virgin daughter of Babylon? Well, you could read about it in Jeremiah 49, 50, 51. You could read about it in Revelation 17, Revelation 18, right? It's referred to as Babylon the Great, the daughter of Babylon, okay. Also known formally in today's age as America. Okay, it says Sit on the ground, there is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate, man. Okay, and we know that this this is going to happen because of the way that this kingdom's been ruled, man. Okay, we know this is going to happen because of the transgressions and the lawlessness of these cave dwellers, man. Okay, that they're not fit to be kings. They're not fit to rule a nation, okay? The book of Sirach, uh, the 10th chapter and the 8th verse tells you what? Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another, okay? And it's not going to be by our own hands, okay? By our own might. No, we're waiting on the Lord, man, to come take you down because that's what the scriptures prescribe, all right? But it says, verse 2, take the millstones and grind meal. It says, uncover thy locks. Make bare the leg, uncover the thigh, pass over the rivers. And this ultimately is going into Esau, Edom being made bare. Okay, Jeremiah 49 and 10, like I quoted Jeremiah the 49th chapter, the 10th verse. Hey, Esau is being made bare in these days. You know, it's obvious who is that wicked seed, man. Okay, it's obvious, you know, you read in the book of Malachi, the first chapter and the first verse. I mean, the, the fourth verse, you know, it tells you, hey... You know, that, that Edom would come back and build up the desolate places. But thus saith the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, he shall rebuild, but I will throw down. Okay, so the Lord, we're waiting on him, man. Because when he comes back, he's going to take down your kingdom. He's going to take all the crowns off the, the quote-unquote kings on the earth today. Okay, and he's going to set up a righteous kingdom. Okay, the kingdom of the Israelites will be restored. All right, verse 3, it says, thy nakedness shall be uncovered yeah thy shame shall be seen so you know this this once uh prized great country america okay land of the free home of the brave is now being made bare okay it's you know we're calling to mind all the former things in in, in which it was established upon okay it tells you in the book of uh, i believe nahum all right it says woe unto the bloody city man all right you know, uh, I believe in the book of Micah, you know, the the the, the city that uh, is built upon bloodshed, okay, shall not stand. So, you know, roughly paraphrasing, but that's basically the way it's going to go, man. You've established, established this kingdom upon wickedness, wicked principles, and you still push forth those decrees and that legislation today. And they'll say at the Holy Bible, man, you will be brought down, man. All right. But it says... I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. All right. Verse four says, as for our redeemer, the Lord of hosts is his name, the Holy One of Israel. Verse five, sit thou silent and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt no more be called the lady of kingdoms. All right. It says, I was wroth with my people. I have polluted mine inheritance <clears throat> and given them into thine hand. Thou didst show them no mercy upon the ancient, hast thou very heavily laid thy yoke. Okay, and you read in the book of Baruch, you know, uh, that, that we move the most high to wrath ultimately, man. Because here it is, we've been chosen by the creator himself, and we've been given a certain uh, 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 measure of law, statutes, and commandments. Okay, how to rule righteously. We've been given... Uh, this opportunity to be great and to be different, but we still want to continue following after these heathens, man, who are who are below us, man. We don't want to move as the, the kings and the princesses that we are. 
we want to, we want to, you know, follow the other nations, man. Okay. Be in that, continue on being in that Gentile state of mind. The, so that's why the Lord punished us, man. And the, the Lord, like I said, I was wroth with my people. The Lord sent that nation among us, man, and get, has given us this example of why we should, uh, uh, you know, be obedient unto him, you know, why we should trust in him and given us also the example of how not to rule a kingdom. Everything that, you know, the, the, these individuals, these presidents and whatnot, they'll put their hand on the Bible and make oaths and swear, but don't uphold any of the things within the scriptures, man. All right. But it says, verse 7, and thou saidest, and this is the point I wanted to get, and thou saidest, I shall be a lady forever, so that thou didst not lay these things to thy heart, neither didst remember the latter end of it, right? So they didn't count the cost, ultimately, man. They didn't understand that because they they've uh, were built upon these wicked uh, uh, um, doings and deeds, right? That ultimately it was going to have to come upon their own neck, man. All right. And that leads me to my next precept, which is in the book of Revelation, <clears throat> chapter 18 and uh, verse four. All right. It says, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins and that ye receive not of her plagues. Now, this is talking about Babylon the Great, like I made mention of Revelation 17 and 18. OK, this is uh Revelation 18 and 5, all right, it says, For her sins have reached unto heaven, and the Most High hath remembered her iniquities, right? So, you know, the, these hypocrites, these Edomites being the hypocritical nation that they are, okay, they'll tell us real quick to forget about slavery, to forget about, you know, all the all the uh, wickedness, the buck breaking and the, the gator ba babies and, the uh, 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 you know, all the wickedness that they've done unto our people. Okay, cutting our women open uh, while they're pregnant and, and making bets, you know, on who, on, on if the baby would die first or the woman would die first. Hey, like it tells you, man, in the book of Numbers, hey, because blood hath defiled the land uh, uh, um, and, and the land cannot be cleansed. Okay, that, that basically, you know, the, the, the blood of him that sheddeth is the only way that the land can be cleansed, man. An eye for an eye and a, and a tooth for a tooth, man. All right. And there's even you have the example in, uh, I believe it's in Mississippi. OK, it might be Arkansas, but I believe it's in, it's in Mississippi. OK, the devil's punch bowl, man. There's literally this great uh, 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 land mass. OK. Uh, right along the area of the um, what is it referred to as uh, the Trail of Tears. Where the so-called Caucasian race, the so-called conquistadors and the Spaniards, right? They murdered our Gadite brothers, the so-called Native Americans, okay, by by a, a in, in a great mass, right? And the, it was so much bloodshed that this it's it's seeped into the soil, and you cannot even grow uh, uh, crops there, man. Okay, in that particular region, you can look it up, man. It's called the Devil's Punch Bowl. All right, <clears throat> but it says. Um, Reading on, <clears throat> it says, um, I'm going to read verse 5 again. It says, For her sins have reached unto heaven, and the Most High hath remembered her iniquity. So America isn't off the hook, man. And like I was making mention of, these, these hypocrites, they'll tell us not to, you know, to forget and to get over it and to move on. But then, you know, when the month of September comes around, okay, hey, man, it's all about never forget, never forget 9-11, okay? You know, but like it talks about, man, the pride of their heart have deceived them, man. All right. Verse six, it says, reward her even as she has rewarded you. So like it reward her even as she rewarded you and double unto her, double ac according to her works in the cup which she had filled, filled to her double. OK. And that's that's ultimately what's coming, man. Double a recompense. OK. You got to pay off your debt, man. You know, you got to pay off your debt for your perpetual hatred. OK, like it talks about in uh, <clears throat> Ezekiel, the 35th chapter. OK, let's just grab it real quick. And we long for that, man. You know, we long for that. Rightfully so, man. You know. 
We don't, we're not just letting that shit go. No, we know who our enemy is, man. And thus saith the Holy Bible, man. And, and it's hard to fathom now sometimes in this flesh. But in, the, in that day, man, the Lord is going to pour his wrath and indignation into us. To allow us to be those instruments to release it unto them, man. See, they came over here spitefully, man. They came over here with that, that hatred that is just spiteful and just, just a jealousy. But our hatred for them, it is, it is righteous, man. It is pure because time and time again, again, you know, history being that uh, great teacher, they've showed their true colors, man. All right. And just because they've gone crouching for a little while, okay, and their rust, uh, you know, apparently has been wiped away, you know. Hey, man, we, we, you know, those of us in the know, we know who these people are, man. And we know they are not to be trusted, okay. This is Ezekiel 35 and um, 5, okay. It says, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword. Okay, again, that word sword, man. Being Esau Edom's blessing, it says, by the force of the sword and the time of their calamity and the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, our power, I will prepare thee unto blood and blood shall pursue thee. Sith thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee, man. Okay. And the Most High is going to uh, 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 set everything right, man. He's going to set everything in order, man. OK, like I made mention of, you know, he's given us this example of a people of a nation on how not to be on how not to operate. OK, <clears throat> because ultimately, when we follow these heathens time and time again, it's proven to be our downfall, man, our demise and our fault. OK, <clears throat> I want to grab this real quick. <clears throat> Salakia. <clears throat> Bear with me. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 25 and uh, verse 7. All right, it says, There be nine things which I have judged in mine heart to be happy, and the tenth I will utter with my tongue, a man that have joy of his children, and he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy, man. And, and, and you know, knowing that this place was built upon a, a wicked a foundation, man, knowing that these are the same individuals, okay, who, 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 you know, uh, slayed our forefathers, okay, stripped us of our, of our uh, roots and our culture and our heritage, you know, knowing that they took everything from us and they boast in that in our faces today, you know, hey, man, we, we look forward to seeing the downfall of our enemy, man, all right? Now, I wanted to grab one more, um, and Lord willing, man, this be be uh, edifying, man, unto the body, okay, and uplifting through the spirit, man, to keep on pushing, man, because we long, okay, to see the downfall of our enemy, okay, and like I made mention of, you know, the pride of their heart, man, so I wanted to grab this, uh, this is the book of Obadiah, okay, uh, it's only one chapter, but chapter one, verse three, it says, the pride of thine heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, okay? And when you go into it, man, they call themselves Caucasians, right? Meaning what? They, 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 for that time period during the Dark Ages, where they were brought down really low, okay, they dwelled in the Caucasus region, the Caucasus Mountains, right? And, and Jake, you know, the Israelites, they were ruling actually in, in Europe, you know, in today's history, they try to tell you, we don't know too much about the dark ages, but that's just because Esau's system wants you to, uh, um, you know, uh, be ignorant of these things, man. He doesn't want you to put the pieces together, right? But nevertheless, it was written that a remnant would return in these latter days and call to mind the things that were written aforetime, man. Okay. Because they were written for our, our learning, man. All right. You know, and, and through the Heavenly Father reigning, reigning his Holy Spirit upon us, the Rakakwadash, man, you know, the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of understanding, the spirit of knowledge. OK, amongst the other uh, uh, magnificent things that he's reigned upon of, upon us, you know, the gifts. <clears throat> Amen. You know, Lord, when we are those men, but we have to endure. But 
going back to the point, you know, I don't want to veer off too much. Obadiah 1 and 3, it says, The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, Who shall bring me down to the ground? <laughs> you know, it says, Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou nest, or Salaki, and though thou set thou nest among the stars, thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord, man, you know? Because ultimately, we don't have the military might to uh, combat Esau's 900 plus military bases all across the globe, man. You know, we're waiting on that divine intervention, man. And we believe it's going to come, man, because it's written. All right. <clears throat> it was written that our downfall would happen. It was written that our enemy would rule over us. Everything that you see playing out today, everything that you've seen happen in a historical uh, sense, you know, it's been written, man. Okay. It was written a four time and it's played out. But it, guess what? Also, what else is played out is or is playing out is the blessings, man. Starting with first and foremost, you know, us being called back to our, our, our true power, man. Okay. Because <clears throat> these heathens, they can't break down the scriptures like this, man. Even Jake, you know, Israelites in these damn Christian churches, man. Hey, blindness in part hath happened unto the nation of Israel. They can't break down the scriptures like this, man. Okay. They don't know what a precept is. All right. But I want to jump down to um, uh, verse 10. It says, For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever, man. Okay. A, a, a double recompense, man. You know, that debt has to be paid at the end of the day, man. And no matter how much you weep and cry and moan and groan and, and, and beg, hey, you know, just like the individual on the screen, man, that debt is tied to you, man. It's following you wherever you go, man, okay? But in, in, in due season, okay, at that appointed time, okay, it has to be paid, man. And we're looking forward to that. But that was uh, that was all the scriptures I had, man. Um <clears throat> Lord willing, like I said, it was edifying and, uh, you know, uplifting to the to the body, man. Okay. Uh, before we end it off, I want to give all praise, all honor, and all infinite glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Kakudash. Double honors again unto the apostles and the elders, great millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect. Shalom.